listen to the man in charge. Let's get this on. Here we go. Now listen. Golden Gloves Boxing League presents Repeat or Revenge. Jamie the Haymaker Hay here as always with Ian M16 bottling onto our cold main event, Ian. We've got a chuckle there with the MC says make some noise because I don't think we can make any more noise in here. We have got Joe Dempsey from Leeds in the white shorts with a gold trim. We've got Kieran Kinoy of Team Rock in the white shorts with the orange and green trim. This is going to be some fight. Absolutely, we've just been talking to the coach of uh, the Kenoy. We were seeing some earlier on, Mark Franks said that he just, uh, Kenoy just beat the British champion a couple of weeks back, so... Yeah, he says only a young lad, very elusive, he says hard to hit. Dempsey's obviously trying to close the distance already, trying to get those shots in. Real fiery start here, Ian. Definitely the cleaner punches at the minute coming from uh, from Dempsey. Kieran Kino struggling to find his distance, I think. Yeah, he's just missing a little bit at the moment. But nice movement from Kino. I think if it's around. Dempsey's dragging Kino in, into a bit of a, a dogfight here. Yeah, but this is better work now from Kino. He's just, he's just throwing, he's not quite got his distance. Yeah, that's it. I think he's, he's struggling to find that distance at the minute. Yeah, that's good. Dempsey taking a step with the ring once again. Throw him up still. Dempsey now. Slow the pace. Oh, he jumps in, as I'm saying. Slow the pace. He jumps in with a leaping left up. Scrappy first round here. It's fairly uneventful, really. Nothing, nothing to write home about. So round two here. Let's see what we've got here. Again, not, not, using that, not using off that jab enough to me. Yeah, but he's the one taking the centre of the ring this time. So that he backs up, that was a nice right hand. That was a little bit better distance in there. And he ties up Dempsey as he comes in. Respect work now from Kino. Kino, only 17 years old, only in boxing for a year. Look at that as well, he slipped off. <laughs> There, the shots came back. Ball that jab out again as a as a bit of a counter. Seems to have got his distance a little bit better, but as I said, as I say, that he closed the distance too much there. This is definitely better work from Kino, keeping it his sort of range, not really letting Dempsey get in. Yeah, but then again, he goes and does that. Ian. Yeah, he's like, you know, he's keeping the range, and then he goes into a, a silly shot like that to, to close his own distance. Yeah, he definitely needs to try and leave the space a little bit better. Oh, he got caught on the chin there, yeah, though. He did. Two shots on the chin there from Dempsey. Two. Oh, another clean shot straight on the chin. Great retaliation though from Kino. Yeah, the better footwork is Kino. You know, he moves around better, he gets out of the corners. But the solid shots there were from Dempsey. Slowed down slightly towards the end of this round. Ten seconds left. Kino tries to throw a combination. Dempsey tries to counter. Oh, nice. That's a better jab. That's a better work. And again, he uses the footwork to get out of the corner. Yeah, that was, it was beautiful footwork to get out of that corner, then it was, it was lovely work. And you can see the footwork that, that Kino's got is, is superb. Yeah. 
Dempsey there. I think he landed about six or seven shots on the chin he there. Did. That was really good work and again and there. Pimps off. This is good work here from Kinoy. He's really found his range here Ian. He's found where he wants to be in this fight I think. You see the frustration on the face of Dempsey. He's driving forward trying to get some success of his own. I think he wants to be on the, on the back of these ropes. I think he feels quite good on the rope. Oh, oh but there. That's what happens when you get a big puncher. He's out boxing Dempsey, but he got caught there with one shot, and one shot, as we've seen earlier tonight, can turn it all around. They can indeed, and Dempsey's going for it now. He's throwing them bombs. This leads crowd screaming for Dempsey. I think Dempsey needs to carry on what he was doing a minute ago, try and go for that big knockout. He caught a couple of big bombs on the chin of Kinoy. Yeah, he did. Kinoy back to his range. But did them flurry of shots do enough to win the round for uh, Kinoy earlier on? That's what, well. Now, well, this could be interesting. I think Dempsey had the first round, Kenoy possibly the second two. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that. And he's peppering the shot straight in there, Kenoy, starting the, four, uh, the fourth round. And he's, yeah, he's coming forward with that flurry, but Kenoy returns a, a serious flurry there. Up against the ropes once again, using that head there. Yeah, we know Kino wants the room, Dempsey wants to be in close. As we've seen earlier, when you're tired, that's when the mistakes get made. And you've got to be wary of the big punches. But old school uh, headlock trick there. Yeah, like a playground headlock. Spencer Alton has to have words with both fighters. Kino doesn't want to get dragged into this dogfight again. He wants to carry on the first two, well, in the second two rounds, really. Exactly right. You know, at the moment, Dempsey's turning this like he did the first round. Which is why he had so much success in that first round, wasn't it? Spencer Alton, the referee, getting frustrated, telling these guys to work. I mean, that, that was a shoot there. Yeah, there's a single leg take down there. Yeah, going for the legs. Dempsey needs to put the... Oh! That's rocked him on the chin there. Yeah, that's, that's really rocked Kino that. He did, Kino's legs stiffened up there. And he knows it as well, and that's why he's going for the knockout Dempsey's now. Dempsey's looking for the knockout. Oh, that's a great end to the fight. Really good end to the fight, and that could be two rounds apiece. I was just going to say, it could be two rounds each there, Jamie. But everything is down to our referee and judge for the evening, Spencer Alton. Gentlemen, there is a conclusion and there is a decision made on this last fight. Ladies and gentlemen, your boxer who's remaining in the ring here for a very close call, and he has won the fight. So please, 